Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals and I am excited to share with you another music paper haul. Um, it's amazing, in the last week or so I found two music book hauls um, and all of these were at one op shop, so really, really cool. Um, I've already shared in a previous video my previous music paper haul, um, but this one is just as lovely. I love the vintage music covers like this. And so now I have got a ton <laughs> of music paper books in my collection and I have created um, some music paper packs and they are listed in my Etsy and they are at the moment only available for those in Australia but uh, I can ship worldwide so if you are interested in picking up a music pack and you're in America or Canada or Britain or New Zealand or wherever you are in the world please please feel free to get in touch uh, you can either email me or go through Etsy um, and let me know where you are and I can let you know uh, the shipping price for you um, and yeah, it is really fun to use music paper. So I have various videos on my channel showing different ways I love using tags, journal cards, bags, envelopes, vellum. I don't think I have a designated video or a dedicated video just to um, music paper. So I might do that because music paper is another one of my absolute favorite supplies. Same with like envelopes and bags and vellum. Music paper is something that I always look out for when I go to op shops, when I go to vintage places. It's something I know I can always use. So I always want to be topping up my collection because I keep using it. Um, and I love the books in particular because when they have lovely covers, you can turn these into journal covers. Like how amazing would this be as a journal cover? And then I love using the music pages itself, themselves, as pages in journals. So, you know, you just fold them in half this way or fold them in half that way. I have actually been making a vintage music journal over on my Patreon. And I have been showing how I use music paper just as the feature pages and so there's different orientations you can do it you can have pockets you can have flips and flaps you can have side pockets bottom loading pockets there's so many things you can do with just how you fold the pages so so cool anyway um so that's one way you could use them as well as pages in a journal to create pockets but also another way is to use them for tags so i love using music paper for backgrounds of tags and even just having music paper tags is cool too i've got a video showing in that series as well um, over on my patreon making that vintage music journal different ways that i like using music paper for tags um, you can just use it as a base you can get one of my favorite methods is getting all different types of music papers from different books because then you have different um, sizes of the sheet music you have different color tones and papers and when you mix them all together in a collage and then cut that out like a collage masterboard for example to make your tags it just looks really really amazing like really really cool and then I like decorating them with like a sticker over the top I'm just seeing if I can find an example so here are some of my music paper tags that I've made for the patreon journal series and these are just bases that I have prepared and then I'll go ahead and decorate them all. Um, I stitch around the edges, I ink up the edges, and I add like um, a flower sticker or a butterfly or some vintage labels, do a bit of collage over the top, add a bit of doily maybe. There's so many ways to decorate tags. <laughs> it's so brilliant. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm getting distracted. I'll show you these beautiful books. Some of them have just the front and back cover and you get the music on the inside look how stunning they are i love vintage music paper especially of course because vintage is my favorite theme so lovely these ones oh i love them i haven't really gotten many of these before i usually get the proper books not these i'm not sure even what you call them um but yeah i got quite a few of these and love that look at the back of that one really really cool and interesting and this one look at 
that. So cool. And this one, some of them are a bit newer than others. And then, so you get the different kinds of sheet music, like how they're formatted and designed. And love the piano here and the purple. Look at this one. How sweet is the cover of this? Oh my goodness. I love when I make my journals as well, matching the words and the song title and lyrics to whatever theme I'm having. So if I've got a book about birds, I'll find things to do with like trees and um, maybe the wind and the sky. If I have a book, a journal about flowers, I'll look for um, songs that mention gardens and roses and things like that. Um, if I'm doing a journal about um, like a love story, I'll look for pages to do with um, like there's a lot of love songs around. So look at this one too. It has gorgeous images. I think I need to do a journal just using pages from this journal, um, from this book. Isn't that stunning? Like, look at these images. So cool. Look at them. I haven't picked up one like this before. Look at these images. Wonderful. Funny Girl Song Album, Barbara Streisand. I've never heard of this before. I, I know Barbara Streisand. I just never heard of that one before. Um, so let me know in the comments if you have. Um, then we've got this one here. And I love the sticky tape. Oh, my goodness. This is a type of page I would actually use for my book. I, I, but I've finished all the pages of my book now, which is exciting. Um, so this one's lovely too. So for the music paper packs, you get 25 plus pages in it and you get a variety of all different pages from different books, not just these ones. Like um, you get some from the previous haul that I shared and from my collection that I have. I've got so many. So you get a nice variety of different types. Like look at this one. This one's very unique as well with this type of sheet music design. So really, really cool. I love, love, love. This one I love the cover of especially. It's quite a popular one. I've gotten this book like quite a few times over the, the years, but it's a good one. Um, and I think I've got it. This is the third time I've got it. <laughs> but I pick it up again because it's just a really good book to use. Lots of pages. Love the cover. I should show the backs as well because I love making covers, journal covers out of the front and back covers especially. And look at this one. Look at the tape. Love that love that look at this oh my goodness so cool this one is very tatty this is the kind of one that I would use more for collage because I'd rip it up um, and the kind of one that I would use for my personal journaling so that's another way to use it um, I'm constantly using music paper for my own personal journaling because I love music I love songs it just looks cool as well but if I'm ever journaling about music or my favorite song I often use this in the background to lay down, you know, a bit of a vintage collage in the background. This is, oh, this is scrumptious, this one. This is amazing. Not the most user-friendly for pages in a journal because it's so brittle and fragile. But again, yeah, that's one I would keep for my personal use. Love this cover. Look at this. This one I feel like needs to be a journal cover. 1929 almost antique practically antique gorgeous and then look at this again I feel like this needs to be a journal cover this is some really large music paper so in those music paper packs in those music paper packs <laughs> like a bit of a riddle um, there are different sizes so you get some of these large pages you get some smaller ones some medium sized ones if they're really large I fold them in half uh, so you get a nice variety of color tones and sizes look at this look at this this is huge <laughs> so huge like I, I need to cut this down um, for any of the journals that I use or make um, but yeah, look at these, such a wonderful variety of books. So someone obviously was throwing them out or, um, yeah, I, I believe it was, I'm, I'm thinking it was one person's collection, but I don't know that, but cause I check the op shops pretty regularly now, like a week apart, cause you just never know what you'll find within a week. Um, and one week I found these so cool all of these so i just picked the whole lot up um 
and yeah I love getting them in a bundle it, it's just so cool so yeah hope you enjoyed that little look at these uh, music paper books and if you're interested in picking up your own music paper pack um, the link to my Etsy is down below in the description box um, and yeah maybe because I hear from people saying you know I can never find music paper where do you find it and even if you can find it sometimes you don't get the nice variety uh, so I thought I'd put up some music paper packs so that you know you already get that variety you already get a whole range of papers in different styles and then you can use them however you want covers pages pockets journal cards tags collage master boards personal journaling those are the top ways that i love using music pa music paper there's probably other ways to use it you see all sorts of paper crafts um using music paper but yeah for junk journals that's how i specifically like to use it and already there's so many that, that was a lot <laughs> that was a lot um, and maybe i'll yeah if you're interested um i'll film a video sharing all the ways I like to use music paper and actually show examples of each way. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. A big thank you to my beautiful patrons supporting me in February. I really hope you absolutely love it there. If you would like to become a patron, the link is down below in the description box. And my Patreon is where you get access to the start to finish journal making series each month. Uh, sneak peeks and first access to all of my creations. And depending on your tier level, printable kits. Every single printable kit from my Etsy plus a new one each month. There are mail tiers and community tiers and all sorts of things. Uh, check the description box down below also for links to my courses, for my journaling courses and creative courses, places to find me and ways to contact me if you ever have any questions or video requests.